Hello, hello good people. Welcome to Caloric Dorish and for those who have been watching my videos, welcome back and thank you very much for your continued support. Today, let's talk about two things. One, how to manage type 1 diabetes and the second is how to prevent or manage type 2 diabetes if you already have it. But first, here is a brief introduction. Diabetes is impaired regulation of glucose. It's a chronic disease, meaning it takes longer than one year. It is the seventh leading cause of death. There are two main forms of uh, diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is where the body cannot produce enough insulin and it is the less common form of diabetes then there is type 2 diabetes where the body cells become resistant to insulin and it is the most common form of uh, diabetes then we have the that temporary form of diabetes known as gestation diabetes which develops in some women during pregnancy you may wonder, how do I know if I have diabetes? Well, here are the common signs and symptoms of uh, uh, diabetes. Let's start with type 1 diabetes, where you get frequent urination, unusual dust, extreme hunger, unusual weight loss, extreme fatigue, and then you become easily irritable. Type 2 diabetes, signs and symptoms include any of the type 1 diabetes signs and symptoms. In addition, you experience frequent infections, fuzzy vision. You also include uh, you experience cuts and bruises that are slow to heal, tingling and numbness in the hands or feet, and recurring skin, gum, or bladder infection. There is something to note. In type 1 diabetes, the symptoms occur very fast in terms of days, or weeks. Well, in type 2 diabetes, the warning signs or the, the signs and symptoms are very mild that you hardly notice until you start experiencing the major problems caused by the long-term damage from the disease. So it is very advisable to keep on getting shakers from your doctor so that you can get tests uh, to to determine whether you already have uh, type 2 diabetes so that it doesn't get to the long term uh, long term uh, damage and then let's now discuss uh, the risk factors for di uh, type 1 diabetes which include family history so if you have any of your parents or one of your parents or grandparents that have diabetes, type 1 diabetes, chances are you're already predisposed. And so you should be getting regular doctor checkers so that they can test you regularly so that you know when, when you get it. Or if you are a mom or a dad and you have uh, your family is already predisposed, uh, already have have type 1 diabetes it is good to get your your child uh, uh, tested regularly uh, in terms of race uh, type 1 diabetes is common within the uh, Caucasian uh, population then we have type 2 diabetes uh, the risk factors include being obese or overweight lack of regular physical activity family history, less of the density. In this case, 
It includes African Americans, Hispanic or Latinas, American Indians, Native Alaskans, Native Hawaiians, or Pacific Islanders. Those groups of people are at a high risk. So it is good to be getting checked check uh checked up regularly by your doctor now if you had gestation diabetes and you never change your lifestyle uh, like your eating habits then you are at a high risk of getting type 2 diabetes let's check out the risk factors of gestation diabetes they include uh if you had gestation diabetes in a previous pregnancy the chances are you're gonna get a, a gestational diabetes in your next pregnancy. So you you could be checked by your by your doctor. If you had a baby weighing more than nine pounds, then you could be at a risk of gestational diabetes in your next pregnancy. If you are overweight, then you need to be checked also. Uh, if you are African American, Hispanic, or Latino, African, I mean, American Indian, Native, Alaskan, or Pacific Islander, then you are at a high, a high risk of getting gestation of diabetes when you become pregnant. Now, let's discuss how to manage type one diabetes. You manage it by administering insulin through an injection or pump as per doctor's recommendation. You have to monitor your blood sugar or glucose levels closely to ensure they remain within healthy range. Drink a lot of water. Eat healthy foods. Exercise regularly. It is recommended you have your excess at least 30 minutes a day three times a week and the exercise may include walking running swimming biking or other physical activities that you enjoy the maintain a healthy weight by eating healthy and regular physical activities then let's look at how to prevent or manage type 2 diabetes you do that by uh, eating less carbohydrates and slightly more proteins and reduced fat, uh, reduced fat uh, products to help regulate your blood glucose. Avoid alcoholic beverages which may cause hypoglycemia, meaning lower the normal blood glucose levels. So avoid alcohol. Uh, regular physical activities or exercise at least 30 minutes a day or three, uh, three times a, a week is uh, advised and the activities may include as mentioned above uh, walking, learning, swimming, biking and other physical activity, activities that you may enjoy. Losing weight or maintaining the healthy uh, healthy weight by exercising and eating healthy. You monitoring your blood sugar and glucose levels closely to ensure they remain within healthy range. So, what are the food do's and don'ts when you're managing diabetes? Let's start with the do's. Uh, you eat whole foods because of the fiber that uh, the fiber stabilizes the helps to stabilize the blood sugar you eat beans pea, peas riba beans lentils they have fiber that helps stabilize the blood sugar you eat bland cereal lye bread whole wheat uh, pasta oats oatmeal uh, blood, uh, brown rice, sweet potatoes, a uh, grilled, baked or boiled seafood, such as salmon, tilapia, codfish, shrimp, 
just measured by perfume. The here are the food dots when you are dealing with diabetes. Uh, fried beet, fatty beet, bacon, legura cheese, poultry with skin, deep fried foods. Stay away from that because uh, fatty foods block the sugar in the cell from from insulin. So it's not advisable that you eat fatty fatty foods of any kind. White bread, rice, or pasta are high in carbohydrates and low in fiber, resulting in high blood sugar levels. Sugar sweetened beef fridges, they are high in carbohydrates, which increases the, the blood sugar. Uh, fruit preferred yogurt are low in, in fat but high in sugar, which can lead to to high blood sugar levels. Sweetened breakfast cereals are high in carbohydrates, which raises the blood sugar levels. Honey, agave uh, nectar, and maple syrup have similar effects as white table sugar or blood sugar levels or glucose. Dried fruits become more concentrated in sugar, so you should avoid dried fruits. Uh, Thank you very much for listening to the watching this video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, share with anybody who may find this information important, and keep coming for more videos. Thank you very much for those who have been supporting me so far. May you continue supporting me. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.